Today we're at the Monticello Motorsport Park in New York to test this, the all new 2022 Toyota GR86. First, we're gonna take a look at all the features and then we're heading to the track. <laughs> As the sports car market continues to push the envelope in terms of ultimate performance, both the cost and complexity of these weekend racers is getting out of hand. But thankfully, you don't need to buy a Porsche, a McLaren, or an Acura NSX to join the party. There is still one bona fide sports car that pretty much anyone can afford. And for the 2022 model year, it's getting a major update. This is the all new Toyota GR86. This latest iteration was developed in conjunction with Toyota's Gazoo Racing, earning it the GR name. You can expect to see a lot more in terms of GR branded performance parts and models from Toyota in the future. The new GR86 will initially be available in only two trims, base and premium. Pricing has yet to be announced, but the base GR86 will start at just under 30,000 US dollars. This new car is one inch longer, 0.2 inches wider, and has an even lower center of gravity than the outgoing model. The vents and curves are all fully functional, working to improve handling at speed. Premium trims even get a new duckbill spoiler for extra downforce in the back. They also get larger 18 by 7.5 inch 10 spoke wheels and extra sticky Michelin Pilot Sport 4 tires. Brakes are ventilated discs, 11.6 inches in the front, 11.4 in the back. Under the hood is a Subaru 2.4 liter four cylinder boxer engine. This produces a peak 228 horsepower and 184 pound feet of torque. It powers the rear wheels through your choice of either a six speed automatic or what we have here, a six speed manual transmission. For 2022, the manual has been updated for both better feel and strength. Moving to the back, the trunk holds up to 6.26 cubic feet of cargo. Fold the seats down and you can stuff a full set of track day wheels and tires back there. Under the floor is room for a spare, but it comes from the factory with only a tire repair kit. Now let's take a look inside. Note the key fob is the standard Subaru design. As a two plus two layout, there is a second row here, but it is too small for adults. As for the front row, everything has been improved over the outgoing model. The materials aren't quite luxury levels of refinement, but the new 2022 GR86 is certainly punching above its weight. In both trims, the analog cluster has been replaced with a full digital display, and the center infotainment also received a much needed upgrade to an eight inch touchscreen. Put the car into track mode and the gauge cluster switches to a more track-centric design with a very easy to see shift indicator so you can keep your eyes up on the track. Shifting back to normal mode, the left side provides a variety of data points from a G meter to a torque curve. You will notice that there is still a slight mid-range torque dip, but it's not nearly as bad as the outgoing model. Dual zone climate control is standard across both models, but only premium gets heated seats lined in leather and ultra suede. In terms of high-tech safety, models with the six-speed manual get a rear-view camera, which is low resolution and really not that great. All the lights are high-output LEDs, and that's about all you get. If you instead opt for the automatic transmission, you get a full advanced safety suite. That includes pre-collision braking, adaptive cruise control, lane departure, and sway warnings. Infotainment does support both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto via USB. Since this head unit is pretty thin on built-in features, for example, there's no navigation, I do expect most buyers will run with their mobile device integrated. But enough of that, let's go for a drive. So it's kind of funny just how much more solid this car feels just driving it at 25 miles per hour. Uh, this feels like a much more refined vehicle than the old one. The old one was a lot of fun, but it was a little on the tinny side. And of course, with those ultra hard tires, it was super easy to slip out the back end. This one is now equipped with really sticky Pilot Sports, which I really look forward to taking on the track. 
Yeah, this whole interior really comes together nicely. It's just what you want in a sub $30,000 car. Even the dual climate controls look really nice here. Oh man, the engagement of this stick shift is just phenomenal. It's, it's like snick, snick. I don't know if you can hear that. Oh, just so good. The whole thing is a really nicely put together package and I think it'll do really well for them. Now, the big question is, which is better, this or the Subaru BRZ? Because they are literally built in the same factory and essentially they are very similar. Uh, well, we'll have to wait on that one because I'm not driving the BRZ for another couple weeks, but I will let you know in that video uh, which I prefer better, or maybe I'll do a separate video. We'll see. Now, I have driven the heck out of the old 86 and BRZ. I drove a BRZ across Ireland. Um, I've driven it on racetracks. I've drifted it on the countryside. Um, and so I have a lot of seat time with that car, and it's a really enjoyable ride. Um, in fact, it's probably one of the best deals you can get in automotive fun. The fun quotient is off the charts. Does this one carry that, or did they dull it down? I mean, Toyota has a history of kind of dumbing down second generation vehicles. I mean, look at the Scion XB. The first XB was a revelation. The second one, yeah. So does this one fall in category A or does it fall into category B? Well, I think the best place to find out is here at the Monticello Motor Club, where we are going to hit the track. Toyota says the new GR86, when equipped with a manual transmission and Pilot Sport tires, can do 0 to 60 in about 6.1 seconds. We did film these runs at the end of the day. The car had been running hard on the track and it was 100 degrees outside with tons of humidity in the air. But I don't want to leave you hanging, so here are the 0 to 60 runs. With track mode on and loads of wheel spin off the line, I only get a 7.52 on the first attempt. Next, I turn track mode off to reduce wheel spin. Three, two, one, go. I miss the 1-2 shift and only get a score of 6.98 seconds. Better, but we're not there yet. Three, two. Finally, with a slight chirp at the start, but an otherwise okay-ish run, I get a 6.91, which we'll have to do for now. Nobody will claim the GR86 is a car to pick for drag racing. It's more intended for the track. So Toyota hooked us up with some laps at the Monticello Motorsport Park here in New York. They also provided a variety of both current and new 86s. The first car on the track is a premium with a six-speed automatic transmission. This has 18-inch wheels wrapped in Michelin Pilot Sport 4 performance tires. EPA rates this setup at 20 miles to the gallon in the city and 30 on the highway. For the first run, we're going to use a GR86 that has an automatic transmission because I want to see how this transmission feels. Will it hold the gear through the corner and how quick are these paddle shifters? Let's give it a try. Buckled in, check my distance, put it into track mode by holding down this button. Now I have track mode up there where my tack is front and center and we're going to put it all the way down to drive. thing I'm curious about here is, will the GR86 pick the right gear with the automatic on the racetrack? So far, it's doing pretty good. Oh man, I love these tires so much better than the old ones. I mean, the old ones were fun, but this one just grips in the corners. The shifting is very quick. Put on the brakes, ah, oh, brakes. It's such a light car. This thing is like 2,800 pounds, just a little over 3,000 wet. And that is just amazing. Oh, this is fun. Put in the brakes, turn it in. So smooth, linear, progressive. I can feel it, throttle in. Yeah, this automatic is great. I mean, for this type of car, it just has a really good feel. Uh, now let's see over in manual how this does. Okay, I'm in third. I'm going to downshift here into second. Prep for the corner. Go in tight. Kiss the cone. In there. Down again. 
can't see my gear because my arm's in the way. Second. Shift before the corner. Oh, it's a little slow on the uptake, but it is using a torque converter, so that will happen. Oh man, this is so much fun, even in automatic trim. Toyota says a majority of these sold are automatics, and that's understandable because that's most of the market these days, but the fact that they still offer a manual transmission is just fantastic. And yeah, we're gonna use the manual next on the track. I just kinda wanted to feel this automatic first. Oh man, this thing is so much fun. It's throttle through the corner. Oh yeah. Downshift into second. Prep for the setup, transition, and the weight transfer. It just, it's so predictable. This is such a driver's car. And it's not so much horsepower that you'll ever really get in over your head. Oh, and the sounds are nice too. As we come over the rise here, it's gonna lighten up that back a little bit. Throttle in. See if we can get that back to kind of, yeah, I can feel the back steering. In the back is a Torsen limited slip differential. Sending power to the wheel that needs it, actually. Oh, I kind of overcooked that corner. Oh, well. <laughs> it's okay, we're just having fun today, not making any lap records. Oh, man, and these seats, they support so well. The Alcantara really keeps me in my place. And it has a lot of side bolstering to keep me planted. Oh, man, this is so much fun. Okay, I'm gonna go back into automatic mode and finish this lap up. I've never been to Monticello here, but this is a really fun track. We're just on the small track right now. We're gonna go on the big track with the stick a little bit later. Ah, ah. Oh, I could do this all day. This is so much fun. Cool it down a little bit, and then in we go. Okay, so if you couldn't tell, I had so much fun on that lap, even in automatic trim. It's still just a great car to drive. Woo, that was fun. But how does that compare against the outgoing model with a 200 horsepower four cylinder boxer that only produces 200 horses and furthermore only has Michelin primacy all season radials? Time to find out. Now I'm in a 2021 86 and this thing is very different. Um, everything from like the air con is old school. The push button start is in a weird spot. And then this gauge cluster is analog with just a small digital display tucked into the right. It is a completely different feel. It feels like it's out of, I don't know, a different era. Goes up and down, but not back and forth. Okay, this is an automatic and we're gonna give this a try now. So this has a smaller engine. It's a two liter boxer. And yeah, it's a, it's a Subaru boxer because these are manufactured at Subaru's Gunma plant. Let's go ahead and put the window up. So this has a massive torque dip right around 3,500 RPM. So I have to kind of work around that. Oh my gosh, this feels like such a different car. Now this is light and playful. But the automatic transmission just feels lazier. I can override with paddles, which is nice. And I kind of have to because the automatic is not picking the right gears. But I have to say this chassis just feels so tossable. Oh, I remember why I like this car. Oh yeah, it's just so much fun. But you needed this car in a manual. I don't think that's true anymore. The new one? The automatic is really good. Oh, but when you miss a shift and you're trying to make up speed, it's so slow. Ah, uh, in we go. The dynamics are very similar though. I mean, outside of the transmission and power, it feels very much like a 1.0 version of the other car because of course it is. It's very tossable, such a fun little car to drive. It's just, it needed more power. It definitely needed it. Now, is the new car powerful enough? I think it kind of is, because if you want more power, you can go up to a six in the Supra. 
and still stay in the Toyota family if that's what you want to do. Override this into the corner. Boom. So if you currently own one of these, oh boy, that's slow. Come on, catch up. If you currently own one of these, the new car is a massive upgrade in terms of just feeling like a more put together car. And you'll still retain this fun, tossable feeling just with more power, a better transmission. Whoa. <laughs> I'm just not getting the right gears here and I'm having to override because it's not picking them for me correctly. Brake into the corner. Oh, picked the wrong gear. Let's do that again. <laughs> oh man. And throttle. That power dip is tragic and it is gone, or at least mostly gone in the new car. <laughs> come on, change the gear. I'm trying to, yeah, come on. Oh man. Okay, I think, I think I'm pretty much done with this car. It's a fun little car to drive, but man, that new car is just so much better. So let's jump into uh, one of the 86s with a manual transmission, and we'll see how that feels. <laughs> oh man, this is like going back in time. Oh geez, that was fun. Finally, it's time to run the full track in the budget racer. This is a stock 2022 GR86 base trim with the six-speed manual transmission. That means it has the standard aero package and 17-inch wheels wrapped in the same Michelin Primacy all seasons that were on the 2021. EPA rates this configuration at 19 miles to the gallon in the city and 26 on the highway. These are the much harder non-track day tire. So um, it should be a little bit more tossable in the rear. And this is actually gonna be a more uh, equal comparison to the 86, uh, the 2021 model that I just drove in automatic trim. Also, now we're on the full course. In between these two cars, I did drive the full course in a Hakone edition. That was really fun. Uh, that also has primacy tires. So to set up the vehicle, there's not a lot to do because it's a manual, but I am going to hold this down for a couple seconds and go into track mode. When I go into track mode, it changes the display, giving me primarily tachometer. And it's also going to give me a really bold display to tell me when I need to shift. Okay, let's do this. Man, I like this leather wheel is really nice. Everything just fits perfectly. And away we go. So I'm not going to set any lap records today. Um, first off, I'm not that good of a driver. Also, I don't know Monticello very well. This is my first day on this track. And I've done a couple laps now. So I have kind of a feel for it. Let's see if I can close the gap with the guy in front of me. Now this is a manual, I'm in track mode, uh, which reduces traction control. So I can skit that little, that back end out a little better. And then also it changes the display so I can see tack. Now I'm, I'm just rolling really low RPMs right now. Feeling that power kind of build up. With the new 2.4, you get torque much sooner uh, compared to the old motor. Let's go into the corner, boom, hit that, and away we go. So red line is about 7,500 RPM. Don't have the notes in front of me. I'm just looking at the gauge cluster. It's kind of what it looks like. Now you gotta throw the throttle in and that kind of moves the back a little bit. Oh, that display is great. It really tells you when to shift. Going through the bus stop here. Now I have to be careful with the primacies because as they warm up, they will become a little slicker. And then we got a chicane here. Feel that back end? Oh, pretty good. Now the steering input is very positive, but this definitely feels like a different car. It's not as quite as tossable as the old car, but it does feel like more solid at speed. And it just feels, it just feels better. Pedals are in good positions to do heel toe. So cut, cut around here. Oh, miss the gear there. Oh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, that was sloppy. I do like this gauge cluster though, that's great. 
caught up with two cars ahead of me. It's a very tight corner here. The new transmission feels much better. It has a much more positive click and it's a smoother transition, especially in the diagonals. They've done some good work there. This track is really fun, actually. I love the, the ups and downs and it can really catch you out as it caught me back there. Of course, now we're just kind of slowly going through the motion since I have two slower cars ahead of me, which is always the issue on track days, right? Uh, but I like the, the pedal placement for heel toe is super easy. The steering wheel just feels good. The input from the tires, I really can feel what the tires are doing. This is really just a great car. It's a, it's a step up from the old one, but not such a big step that it's gonna be foreign or, or like it's lost any of its magic. It truly is still a magic little car. Really fun. Okay, let's do this again, second lap. Check my mirror and floor it. Disrupt a little bit, but not too bad. I'm not gonna talk as much this time. Love that engine noise, that, that little burble in the back. Oh, it's so good. Would be nice if it was a little meaner. Now they are gonna be coming out with a whole line of GR racing accessories and I expect the exhaust will sound better than this one. I mean, it sounds good, but it's not very mean. Like a little more burble, a little bit more uh, back there. Ah, you can kick the back out. Nice. Oh yeah, these tires are starting to get a little slippery. Ha! up here a little bit. Okay, bus stop. In the corner here, boom. Yep, those back tires are getting a little slippery. Second. Ah! Shifting's easy, love it. Oh man, this is so much fun. Let me kick that back out just a little bit. Yes, it's predictable, gradual, I love it. Primacies are awful and they are the best at the same time. <laughs> oh, that was so much fun. So has it lost any of its magic? No, absolutely not. It just took what was there before and made it better. For Driving Sports TV, I'm Ryan Douthit. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, share our videos. We make them for you and we hope you enjoy them. Ha! <laughs> See if I can fit a couple more laps in before the end of the day. Today we're at Monticello Motorsport Park in New York to test this. The brand new... The brand new... The brand new... The brand... The brand new... The brand... <laughs> The brand new GR86, it, oh.